Hey, this is Brian Rogers for BBK Performance to show you how to quickly and easily add more horsepower, torque, and throttle response to your 2004 through 2010 5.4 liter F series truck using our 80 millimeter throttle body, part number 1759. Let's begin by unplugging the mass air sensor connector from the driver's side of the air filter box. Simply slide the red locking clip back and then squeeze the tab on the connector while pulling it away. Then disconnect the PCV tube from the passenger side of the air filter box by gently twisting the green coil type tab and pulling away. Now remove the five bolts that hold the air filter box and the inlet tube in place. With the bolts removed, lift the filter box and inlet tube away from the throttle body and out of the engine bay while disconnecting it from the fender well tube which will stay in place. Next, slide the red locking clip back and unplug the throttle position sensor connector and remove the four throttle body mounting bolts. With the throttle body loose, disconnect the electrical connector from the throttle body motor housing. Remove the electric motor housing from the stock throttle body using a T20 Torx bit. Be aware that there is a loaded spring inside of this assembly. Remove the two T20 Torx bolts that hold the throttle position sensor in place and pull the sensor straight away from the throttle body without twisting. Now we can assemble the BBK 1759 throttle body using the stock electronics. First, gently knock out the dust cover on the electric motor using a tool. We recommend that you do not use a finger to knock this out with because there are some sharp edges inside of this opening. Drop the plastic cap spring over the throttle shaft while guiding the pigtail on the spring into the small opening in the throttle body gear. Now install the motor housing onto the BBK throttle body and tighten it down using the original Torx hardware. Then install the throttle position sensor by lining up the locating tab in the sensor with the locating hole in the BBK throttle body without twisting the internals on the sensor. Take a look at the plastic cap. It has a small tab and a large tab. Then look at the motor housing. You will see that it has a small landing and a large landing. To make these tabs line up with their respective landings, rotate the plastic cap counterclockwise and then gently lift the cap to allow the tabs to lock into place in the landings. You will know that your spring is properly wound by opening the throttle blade by hand and then releasing it. The blade will snap closed when released. Now you can snap the dust cover back onto the motor housing. Ford made these trucks with a really nice reusable gasket at the throttle body. For this reason, we do not supply a new gasket with your BBK throttle body. We highly recommend that you simply wipe the original gasket clean with a rag and be sure that nothing falls into the intake manifold during this step. From here, simply re-establish the wiring connection at the motor housing, install the BBK throttle body to the intake manifold using the supplied Allen headed hardware. Keep in mind that the original bolts will not work with your new throttle body. Now plug in the throttle position sensor and reinstall the air filter box or for even more power and torque and throttle response, install a BBK cold air induction system which you can find on our website by searching for part number 1744. For more information on this or any of the hundreds of parts that BBK makes for late model cars and trucks, check out bbkperformance.com. Here on the left, try our multiple search options or watch fun and informative product detail and installation videos. Up here on the top, use the tabs to order or download the latest catalog, find a dealer in your area, or read and download from our instruction sheet library that covers 20 plus years of BBK products. Don't forget to check out our homepage and blog to see what's new. Thanks for watching.